Hello, welcome to RC Tech. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world watching this video. I really appreciate that. Today I'm talking about Informatica Source Qualifier Transformation. Uh, it's a part of our course under RC Tech Courses. If you go Informatica Power Center, ETL Fundamentals, under ETL Fundamentals, we have a section called Create Flat File and Relational Sources using the Source Analyzer. Um, the, I'm going to give a very brief overview about what a source qualifier transformation within Informatica. Let's take a look at it. Uh, this is a typical and uh, informatica mapping, right? Uh, I think if you have seen it before, um, you can easily uh, make it out. This is an iconized version of a mapping. Um, a mapping within informatica, it has uh, several transformations. Uh, if you look at it, the item in the balloon, I mark here, which is a source qualifier. The first step, the first, the very first step that you, when you create a mapping, you need to identify the source tables or a source flat files or any source system. Then the first transformation that you need to create in a mapping is a source qualifier transformation, followed by the data flows like an expression transformation, filter transformation, aggregator, lookup, router transformation, update strategy transformation, and the last one is the target. So the first step is a source qualifier transformation. Your source qualifier transformation is uh, it's an active transformation and it's a connector transformation. What is an active? In Informatica, the transformations, there are two varieties. One is an active, another one is a passive. Active meaning the incoming data can be changed, can be altered by this transformation. Any transformation which alters the incoming data flow, we call it an active. It represents the source record set queried by the server when it executes a session. It is a mandatory in mappings using relational or a flat file sources. The source could be either relational or flat file. Whenever you add a relational or a flat file definition to a mapping, you need to connect it to the source qualifier transformation because that is the transformation which is an active transformation that helps to alter or massage the data or identifies the data flows where it should go. And if you can apply filter on it, if you can join multiple tables, apply the joins, apply the filter, you could do all kind of customization. Because that's why we call it a uh, source qualifier transformation is an active transformation. You apply all the business rules within that and eliminate the, the major, I mean, um, the performance issues by applying filters on the transformation. The source qualifier transformation comes automatically when you get a source table in a mapping. As soon as you identify a table, when you invoke the source tables in Informatica Mapping Designer, the source qualifier transformation created by itself per, per source table. The transformation data types, the source qualifier transformation displays the transformation data types. It matches with the source data types to the closest to Informatica compatible data type. You know what I mean? Basically, it's a number. Here we call it as a decimal. So it is a mapping to an exact, not exactly the same data type that's been uh, created in uh, relational tables. For example, Oracle may have a different data types, whereas in Teradata it could have a, an additional or a modified way of uh, creating the same data types. But in, when it comes to Informatica world, Informatica creates a data type which is closest to what the source system it has. If it doesn't match which the DB type, the mapping will become invalid when you save it. So you got to be very careful when you apply, when you, when you make changes to the source qualifier data type, make sure 
it should match exactly or close to what the source database table structure is. And each source qualifier starts with a single data stream, meaning it comes from the data stream and from the source qualifier, you can channelize to multiple targets or multiple transformations. So this, if you look at the, the prior diagram, the Informatica mapping, the source qualifier here, the data flow, it goes into one single transformation in our scenario. Right? But here, if you look at here, this, is it, this section after the router transformation, it helps to channelize the record into multiple data flows. Similarly, in the source qualifier, the transformation can send rows to more than one transformation, split one data flow into multiple pipelines. That's what we are talking about here. Two or more data flows can meet together depends upon the business case or business requirement. A source qualifier transformation, what are the properties? The moment when you when you double click a source qualifier transformation in a mapping, it opens up this dialog box where it has some multiple tabs like uh, uh, transformation, ports, properties, sources, metadata extensions. If you go to the properties, underneath the transformation attribute, you do see here it is a, has a several uh, attribute values, like attributes, like SQL query, user-defined joins, source filter, number of sorted ports, tracing level, select distinct, pre-SQL, and post-SQL. That's why we call this transformation is an active transformation because we apply the business rules within the transformation that potentially alter the number of records that we get from the source. So by you see this little arrow down box, when you click it, it again opens up a small pop-up window where you can put your answer is SQL statement in that. That SQL statement, it's basically querying the source records and do all kind of your business logic then the source user defined joins it's basically if you take a look at this customers and orders mapping the customer table you define in Oracle A as alias an orders table as B so the user defined joins between the Oracle's customer table and orders table is the cost ID so that we define the join here <coughs> Excuse me. And the source filter, when you want to apply the filter um, for customers within a specific geographical region or specific state, you apply the filter right over here. On top of it, you have number of sorted ports. You can define the sorted ports and uh, distinct value. When the query source query, it returns a multiple records or have a Cartesian product, which you want to avoid it. Then you avoid, and you can select only the distinct value so that you you avoid using the memory unnecessarily. That's what I was I was trying to talking about. So you apply the distinct class here, and same here pre SQL and post SQL is little advanced development methodology. Before you run a source qualifier transformation, you can apply a pre SQL statement and a post SQL statements by like uh, if you want to change the variable or alter a session or a, any kind of a pre-sql that want to execute on that environment based on the connection object the source qualifier can join a homogeneous tables that is a table originating from the same source database into single source qualifier transformation this is very important uh, topic here because here you look at it user defined joins the user defined joins can be applicable only if the tables, the source tables, are coming from the same environment, same homogeneous environment. If it is an Oracle, it should be an Oracle. If it is SQL Server, it should be a SQL Server. You don't, you cannot merge like a one table from SQL Server, another table from a flat file, or one from a Teradata, other from Oracle. Then you can use the source qualified transformation properties, especially on the user defined joins. The source qualifier join, the join which we are talking about here. So you using source qualifier, you can bring data, 
but you cannot apply the inbuilt joint within the source qualifier. That's what we are talking about here. Uh, default queries. It is uh, a query generated by the integration service for each source qualifier transformation when it runs a session. It generated automatically. If you go back to this record uh, in this uh, uh, transformation attribute, you, you don't need to fill, to fill the value of the source qualifier every time. Only if you want to make any changes to an uh, incoming data or when you want to manipulate the data coming, then you, you fill, enter the value of the source query. Otherwise, you don't need to do it. The source qualifier transformation, it automatically generates. That's what we are talking about here. Select customers, customer ID, customers company, customers first name from customer table. This is the source qualified query generated. And here you see the uh, connect to database. You specify the database in, uh, connection object, username and password. It generates the SQL statement automatically through the integration service. Integration service, if you have watched my prior videos, it is, a, it is a service within Informatica platform. Now, the last one is a source qualifier transformation joins. The first join is a default join. The columns in a default join must have a primary key, foreign key relationship, like a master child, and matching data types. Custom joins is specified a where class. Like uh, after you invoke, if you go back to the prior, see this, this SQL statement doesn't have any where clause. But if you want to apply a where clause by filtering records directly within that uh, custom SQL statement, you can apply it. You add a where clause here. The columns don't have a primary key foreign key relationship. If you want to apply um, um, uh, rules, then there are certain conditions that you need to follow that the columns don't have a primary key or a foreign key relationship. Data types of columns used for the join, they don't match. Different types of joins to be specified, such an outer join. So if you want to add more functionality to your uh, SQL statement, you could do a custom join option. What is a custom join option here? It's basically uh, you apply the var clause right over here. <coughs> Creating key relationship, pro, pro, primary key and foreign key relationship exist in the metadata only. So you don't need to worry about that. And uh, heterogeneous join. The example which I was talking about, um, a yeah, table from customer from SQL Server, customer and other uh, orders from a flat file, or the customer table from Teradata, or the orders table is from Oracle. If you want to do it, the joiner, the source qualifier transformation join property cannot be used, but using a joiner transformation in Informatica, you can apply the joins even though the source are from a different different environment and thanks for watching this video i really appreciate that talk to you soon take care